Welcome. This is Carolyn Bell Yoga. The title of this class today is Move With Your Core. It is a ladder flow. A ladder flow means that one pose builds upon the next pose upon the next pose. And so we will do them in sequence and add on throughout the practice. As you move and transition through the yoga poses, remember to keep a strong core. We all need a strong inner being as we move through the challenges of, challenges of life. This is so important in life and in our yoga practice. So uh, draw strength from your inner being. Draw strength from your core as we practice this ladder flow. We'll start in a seated Sukhasana, sitting tall, closing the eyes, and engaging the abdominals. So pull them up towards your heart space. Pull them in and up. Breathe in and out, and move the breath. Inhale to the top of your head, Hold it all, hold it in, and then let it all go. Try that again. Breathe into the top of your head. Hold it there, and then let it all go. If your eyes are not closed, close them so that you can concentrate more on the breath. Once again, breathe into the top of your head. Hold it and then let it all go. This time we're going to breathe into the side ribs. So inhale to the side ribs. Let it all go. Combine those two. Breathe into the side ribs. To the top of your head and let it all go. This time we'll do an open mouth exhale. Breathe into the side ribs, to the top of your head, open mouth exhale, let it all go. Breathe into the side ribs, expanding to the sides of the room, to the top of the head, to the ceiling. Open your mouth and let it all go. Sit in silence for a moment and breathe. Bringing the hands to heart center. May this practice encourage me to have a strong inner being so that I can move through the challenges of life. Opening the eyes, place your hands behind you and take the knees over to the right. Inhale the knees up and over to the left. So you're leaning back and the legs are just flowing from side to side. Inhale and exhale. We're waking the legs up. Take them to the right, hold, and then bring your hands to heart center. You might make a fist and place, cup your palm over it. This is a, a, a hand mudra of strength. So engage your core and see if you can rise up. Sit back down. We'll try it again. 
Engage your core. Pull yourself up using your core. Have a seat. One more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sitting down. Now bring the knees over to the left. Hands at heart center with that strong mudra. Inhale, strong core, and lift your body up. Dropping back down again, exhale. Inhale, rise, strong core. Exhale, sitting down. One more. Inhale, rise, strong core. Exhale, sitting back down. Nice job. Placing the hands on the mat. For all fours, just sway a little bit. Move forward and back. What feels good to you? This is kind of a free movement. So moving the body around, waking the wrist, forward and back, and then maybe the cat and the cow poses. Finding breath through the movement. Hold a, a specific position if that feels good to you. Get some breath in the body. Wag the tail. So move the hips side to side. Looking to each side. Getting a little crunch in the side ribs. And then tucking the toes, downward facing dog, pressing back. Walk your dog, we're still waking the muscles in the body. Inhale and exhale. Moving forward to plank pose, dropping right knee and left knee down, just pedaling the feet. Downward facing dog, pressing back. And then walk to the front of the mat. Malasana yoga squat. So step the feet apart and drop the hips down. Inhale and exhale. Maybe move a little bit side to side. Settle in the center. Hands down, inhale, lift the hips, drop the head, open the back of the legs. Drop back down again to yoga squat, malasana. Inhale and exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale and exhale, yoga squat. Inhale and exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. And then heel, toe, the feet side by side. Hands on the shins, lift the chest, Ardha Uttanasana. Release back down. Inhale, rise. You can hold the toes. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Keep the belly in. Exhale, fold. Wrapping the arms around the back of the legs. Draw yourself as close to the legs as possible. Release the hands to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Drop the knees and the chest. Push back up to 
to a modified plank. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Inhale and exhale, push yourself back up. Inhale and exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale and exhale, push yourself up. Remember that strong core. Downward facing dog. Walk or float to the front of the mat, land softly. Uttanasana fold. Inhale, lift the heart. And then pulling the belly in, we rise to Urdhva Hastasana, arms up, upward salute. You can see it here in the body. Hands and heart center, Samastitihi. Shoulder heads down. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Strength and stability. Ukatasana, chair pose. Lifting the left heel up. <clears throat> now kick the left heel to hip. Drop the foot down, heel down, standing to dasana. We're beginning our ladder flow sequence right now. Inhale the arms up, Ukatasana. Lifting the right heel up. Kick the heel to hip. And release the toes down, heel down, to Dasana stand. Repeat that. Inhale the arms up. Left heel hip lifts. Heel to hip. Squeeze it in like you're squeezing an orange in between your hamstring and calf. Plant the foot down and Tadasana stand. Inhale the arms up, Utkatasana. Right heel lifts. Squeezing the calf to the hamstring. Release the foot, toes down, heel down, and rise. Now remember, as we're practicing, to keep the strong core. Hold that core in. That is your place of balance and energy as we continue on in this ladder flow. Utkatasana. Left heel lifts. Left heel to hip. Now, I want you to reach that foot back. Bring the knee up. And Tadasana Mountain Pose. Utkatasana, other side. Right heel lifts. Heel to hip, squeeze. Bringing the knee back. This is challenging your balance, I know. It's challenging mine. Knee up. Tadasana, mountain pose. That lifting of the knee and back and hovering is your modification. The next step we're going to do is to drop down. So we'll try it again. Utkatasana. Left heel rises. Squeezing. Now reaching back, touching the toe down, dropping the knee. We lift back up, strong core, knee up. Tadasana, mountain pose. Utkatasana. Right heel lifts. Squeezing the heel to hip. Reaching back. 
Touching the toes down, dropping the knee carefully. Rising knee up. And then release Tadasana. Let's take a little break. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Release the tension out of the back. I can feel tension in my back. I'm sure you can too. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open the arms up and go right to Utkatasana chair pose. Lifting the left heel up. Squeezing the orange. Reaching back. Dropping the toe down. Drop the knee down. Now inhale, rise. Strong core. Transitioning to standing splits. Inhale and exhale. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, lift. Ardha Hastasana, arms rise, upward salute. Hands and heart center, Psalmist 50 feet. Inhale and exhale. Uttanasana, chair pose. Right heel lifts. Kick the heel to hip, squeeze. Reaching back, dropping the toes and then the knee. Keeping the strong core as you stand and lift. Open the arms, dive your body down, standing splits. Release the leg down, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, lift the heart. Open the arms up and rise. Hands and heart center. Mountain pose. Utkatasana, chair pose. Left heel lifts. Squeeze. Reach back. Toes touching down, drop the knee. Strong core, rise. Standing splits, open the arms, dive. From here, we're reaching this leg back to the low lunge. Keeping the hands down, dropping the knee down. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, drop the knee. Inhale and exhale, straighten the leg. Squeeze those muscles to the bones. Release and drop the knee. And now lift up. Anjane Asana, hold and free. One more breath. Arms up into a V, open. Inhale and exhale, pyramid, tuck the back toes under, straighten the front leg. It is okay if your back heel is not touching the mat. You're just rocking back here with straight legs. Drop the knee, arms up. Two more of those, 
Hands down, rock back. Inhale and exhale, knee down, arms up. One more, hands down, tuck the toes, rock back. Inhale and exhale, knee down, arms up. Place the hands down, step forward with the back foot and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the arms, Urdhva Hastasana. Remember the strong core. Hands and heart center, Samasiddhi. Tadasana, mountain pose. Utkatasana, chair pose. Right heel lifts. Heel to hip, squeeze. Strong core helps your balance. Reaching that foot back and then slowly dropping down with the toes drop first and then the knee. Open those arms and breathe. Inhale, rise, knee up. Standing splits. Fold down. Leg reaches back as you drop down to the low lunge. Inhale and exhale, drop the knee down. Just keep the hands on the mat. Tuck the toes, straighten the leg. Squeeze the muscles to the bones. Keep the strong core, don't let the belly just collapse. Drop the knee, release. Tuck the toes, straighten the leg, keep it strong. Drop the knees and release. Re rising up to Anjane Asana, hold and breathe. Inhale the arms up, open the heart space. Inhale and exhale, pyramid pose, tuck the back toes under and bow over the front leg. It is okay if your back heel stays up. If you can get it down, do so. The back foot is angled out. Dropping the knee, arms up. Inhale and exhale, hands down, pyramid. Move the breath through the body, dropping the knees. Inhale and exhale, arms up. Hands down to the mat, pyramid. Look forward, step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the heart, heart of Uttanasana. Strong core as you rise. Urdhva Hastasana, hands and heart center, Samasthiti. Inhale and exhale, Tadasana. We begin the ladder sequence again. Adding on. Ukatasana, chair pose. Left heel lifts. Kick the heel to the hip, squeeze. Reaching the foot back, find balance, keeping the strong core. And then drop the toes down, lower the knee. Inhale, rise, the knee comes up. Open the arms, standing splits. Feet 
toes, foot, leg reaches back, low lunge. Drop the knee down, straighten the leg. Drop the knee down, straighten the leg. You're the one to add the strength to the pose, squeezing the muscles to the bones. Drop the knee down, straighten the leg. Drop the knee down, Anjane Asana, rise. Hold and breathe. Inhale the arms up into a V. Welcome that breath. Hands to the mat, pyramid. Inhale and exhale, Anjane Asana, arms up. Inhale and exhale, pyramid. Inhale and exhale, arms up. Inhale and exhale, pyramid. And now we're moving on. So the front leg goes back and up, three-legged dog. Inhale and exhale, bring the knee to the left arm, opposite arm. Extend the leg out to the left, follow triangle. We're turning to the side and reaching overhead. And now slowly lower yourself down with ease. Bow forward. Sitting back up. Bending both knees. We did this at the first of class. Now be sure your knees are on the mat. Hands at the heart, strong core as you rise and reach up. Lower yourself back down again. Three times. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit slowly down. Using the core, inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, back down again. Turning to the side, we're opening into a side plank. Turn to plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Jump forward, bend the knees and float. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the arms and rise. Hands in heart center. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Right side. Inhale, the arms up, Utkatasana. Right heel lifts. Squeeze the heel to hip. Reach the foot back. Dropping the toes, then the knee. Strong core, rise. Inhale and exhale, standing splits. Leg reaches back as the right knee, as the left knee bends. Right leg reaches back as the left knee bends, so you're in a low lunge. And then drop 
the knee down. Inhale and exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale and exhale, drop the knee down. Tucking the toes, straighten the legs, squeezing those muscles. Dropping the knee down. Lifting the hands to the knee, Anjane Asana. Hold and breathe. Inhale the arms up, expand your heart space, find that strong core, keep it tight. Inhale and exhale, pyramid. So hands down, tuck the toes, and straighten both legs. Dropping the knee, arms up. Inhale and exhale. Hands to the mat, pyramid. Dropping the back knee, arms up. Hold strong, keep your balance, hands down, pyramid. And now look at that front foot, straighten the back foot, slide the left foot back and up, three-legged dog. Inhale and exhale, bring the knee to the opposite arm, so to the back of the right arm. Now extend the leg out to the side. Place the left hand in the center of the mat and turn and reach overhead. Fallen angel. And now slowly sit down. Legs are wide, bow forward. One more breath. Sitting up, we're bending both knees to the left. Be sure they're on the mat. Hands at heart center. You can make that fist and wrap the palm around it as a mudra of strength. Strong core. As you rise, open the arms up. Drop back down with control. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, drop back down. Inhale, rise and open. And then take it back down. Very nice. Left hand reaches to the, toward the front of the mat. And let's lift up into a side plank or knee down modified side plank. Inhale and exhale, turn towards the mat, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, Oops. downward facing dog. Pause and breathe. Bend the knees, float forward and fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the arms and rise. Hands at heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. I'm going to flow through it once more, maybe moving a little faster. Utkatasana, chair pose. Left heel lifts. Squeeze the heel to hip, 
Reaching back, drop the toes down, arms up. Inhale, rise, knee up. Standing splits, bow. Leg reaches back, low lunge. Lower and lift. Lower the knee and lift. Lower the knee and lift. Drop the knee down, Anjane Asana, hold, we breathe. Recovery and gaining strength. Arms up. Hands to the mat. Pyramid. Knee down. Arms up. Hands to the mat. Pyramid. Knee down. Arms up. Hands to the mat, pyramid. Three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Bring the knee under the body to the left arm. Place the right hand on the center of the mat. Fall in triangle, reaching overhead. Drop slowly down with care. Bow forward. Inhale, rise, bend the knees. Be sure they're on the mat. Hands in the strength mudra and heart center. Inhale, rise, arms up. Lower down, two more. Take it up. Take it down. Inhale up, release it down. And now turn to the side, side plank or modified side plank. Turn to the mat, spread those angel wings right here, those shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, float forward, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Urdha Hastasana, rise. Samastitihi, mountain pose. Ukatasana, our last time. Right heel lifts. Squeeze the orange. Reaching back. Slowly with control, drop the toes and then the knee. Tuck the toes, lift. Open the arms, standing splits. Bending the left knee, the right leg reaches back until you're in the low lunge. Drop the knee <clears throat> and straighten the leg. Two more. Drop the knee. Inhale and exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale and exhale, drop the knee. Inhale and exhale, straighten the leg. Drop the knee, hands to the knee, to the left knee. Anjane Asana, fold and breathe. Arms up. Hands to the mat, Arsvottanasana Pyramid. 
knee down, arms up. Arms down, pyramid. Knee down, arms up. Inhale and exhale, pyramid. And now straighten that back foot. The front leg goes back and up, three-legged dog. Bring the left knee forward to the back of the right arm. Extend the leg to the right. Place the left hand in the center of the mat and open the right arm up, fallen triangle. Carefully sitting down, wide legs, bow forward. One more breath. Sitting up, bend the knees. Be sure the kneecaps are on the mat, making that strong mudra at the heart center. Tighten the core and rise. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sitting down. And again, inhale, rise. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Placing the hand, left hand to the mat, and then we'll straighten the legs into a side plank or modified side plank with the knee down. Keep the strong breath coming. Turn to the mat, plank pose, find your angel wings, your strong shoulder blades, heels up, inhale and exhale, lower to the mat, stay here and rest. Bring the arms down, forehead down and rest. And now look at the mat and see if you can lift the legs up only. Lower the legs down and lift the chest up. Reaching the arms back, you can interlace the fingers if you want. Makes it stronger. And now add the legs as well. Salambasana, Lotus Pose. Breathe and release. Turn the right side of the face to the mat. Switch sides, turn the left side of the face. You can use your arm for hand, back of the hand for a pillow if you want. Release. And now let's try it again. Legs only lift. Release the legs down, lift the chest. Reach the arms back, interlace the fingers, pull back. Now add the legs as well. Locust pose. Inhale. 
Inhale, exhale, release. Hands underneath the chest. Press up and back to child's pose. Find a yoga squat, Malasana, so step on the feet, hands at heart center. Release child's pose, so carefully drop the knees down, press back. And then move to all fours. Inhale and exhale, cat pose. Inhale and exhale, cow pose. Cat pose and cow pose. Holding cat, arch that back and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale, release. Now swing the legs around towards the front for staff pose. And Dandasana, it's a very active pose, pushing into the floor with the hands, finding the strong core. And now bend the left knee, it's dropping to the side. That left foot is inside the leg. Left arm and hand reach to the foot, and the right arm goes out to the side. It's actually a little bit more of a twist. So you're reaching out and you're feeling that length and then a bit of a twist. And then sliding back as you sit up and reach both hands to the foot. Inhale and exhale, lengthening the chest over the leg. Sliding the hands back, sitting up, switching the legs. So the left leg straightens and the right knee drops to the side. Sit tall, and the right hand reaches to the foot. The left arm reaches out to the side. So it's actually more of a twist. It is okay if you can't go very deep into the pose. Just lengthen the spine here. I would rather the spine be straight than rounding over and dropping the knee and straightening your lower back. So just hold, lengthen, twist. Inhale and exhale as you sit back up. This time both arms and hands are reaching towards the foot. Chest that goes over the leg. It's okay if you can't go very far. You can hold the calf or the ankle. You could use a strap. And 
and then slide the hands back, sitting up. Bring both feet together, bottoms of the feet together, and press the knees down. Press and release. Press and release. This time we're pressing down and we're bringing the chest forward. Inhale, sitting up, bring the knees up, we're on our back, knees to chest. Close your eyes and just surrender here. Extend the right leg straight. Take the left knee across the body. Spinal twist. Open that left arm. Turn the head toward the left, but you can keep your eyes closed if you want. Roll to the back and switch the legs. Left leg straight, right knee into the chest. Let's hold here for a moment. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale and exhale as you open the right arm and take the knee across the body. Spinal twist. Breathe and twist. Feel the body open. Roll to the back, both knees to the chest. Drop the feet down, bridge pose. And then lower the back down. Full body stretch. And Shavasana. Now, our time of rest. Please take five to 10 minutes in Shavasana. As you rest, listen for five 
different things. Name them. Five things that you can hear. Name three things that you can feel. It might be the clothes against your skin, the air that is blowing, or moving in your room, the mat, the floor. Now notice the tickle of the breath as it moves in and out of your nose. Continue to rest, and then when you're ready, roll to your side and slowly sit up for a few minutes. You might return to the breath meditation that we started at the beginning of the class. Breathing in to the top of your head. Breathing out. Breathing in to your side ribs and breathing out. As you move through your day today, I hope that you notice your breathing practice. How does it change throughout the different circumstances of your day? Carry your moving meditation with you in your breath practice. Bringing your hands to heart center, thank you for joining me today and for practicing to the end of class. Namaste.